Hello and welcome to another video. Today is a little bit different and I'm going to take you through one of my favourite recipes. This jaw-dropping, relatively macro-friendly lotus biscuit protein cheesecake. Not something I ever thought I'd be doing but I was filming a full day of eating on Saturday. You should probably go and check that out too. And this was a part of it so I thought I'd film the recipe as I've actually had a lot of people on Instagram ask how to make it whenever I've put it up in the past. You can play around with this recipe with your sort of personal preferences, use different types of biscuits or whatever, cover it in all sorts of toppings. You do you. If you do enjoy this video, make sure that you do give it a like and that you subscribe down below. And if you would like to see any more food related content in the future, please let me know in the comments. So without any further ado, I will take you through the Lotus Biscuit Protein Cheesecake. Okay, so here we have all the ingredients that you're going to need along with some optional ones. So what I'm going to do is put all the ingredients that you require on the screen for you now. So you can screenshot, save, whatever, and we will go through the process together. First things first, you're going to want to grab yourself a cheesecake tin and grease that bad boy up. Then if you've got some scales at home, please do grab them and weigh yourself out 60 grams of unsalted butter. Then stick that in the microwave for batches of 10 to 15 seconds, so not to over melt it, which isn't a word, but we're gonna run with it. Then find a way to bash up, blend up, or food process your biscuits of choice. I'm obviously using Lotus biscuits for purposes of this recipe, but you can play around with whatever you want. Then mix the two together to make the concrete. It's not actually concrete, that doesn't sound very appetizing, but the foundation for your cheesecake. The building is only as good as its foundations and this cheesecake is no different. So once you've mixed the two together, get it into the base of your tin and with the back of a spoon, top tip, you can compress it down and spread it around evenly so that you've got a nice, steady base. Stick that in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes and that is stage one complete. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to grab yourself a big old mixing bowl and chuck in 150 milliliters of double cream. And then for a fantastic forearm workout, you can whip it manually, or if you're lucky enough to have a food processor, then that's probably a preferable option. Once you've whipped that, chuck in 450 grams of light Philadelphia. It is important to note that if you've got the macros to play with, it is better to use full fat Philadelphia because it's much easier to set but for purposes of keeping things calorie friendly, I've used Light Philadelphia. Then chuck in your sweetener of choice. I've used 75 grams of stevia, but you can use caster sugar, sucralose, xylitol, whatever suits you and your digestion best. Mix that together until the granular effect from the sweetener is gone. Chuck in some vanilla extract and then your four scoops of whey protein of choice. I've used Awesome Supplements Vanilla and it works really, really well alongside the Lotus Biscuits, so no complaints there. And there we have our filling. However, if like me, you're quite impatient and want to have your cheesecake on the same afternoon that you make it, then you can opt for gelatin as a way of speeding up the process. This is an optional extra, so please don't feel that you need to do this unless you absolutely want to, but it is a great way of speeding up the setting process. So mix that in, and it does make it a little bit liquidy to start with, which can be quite disconcerting, but it does work out in the end once it's set. So remove your freshly cooled foundations from the fridge and apply the filling accordingly. Once you've got it spread evenly around the cheesecake tin covering the entirety of the base, then you have the second set of solid foundations to apply toppings at your will. I wasn't particularly creative today and just opted for standard Lotus biscuits. I did have some caramel spread out and ready to apply but decided against it. You can add whatever you want on here and please do go mad as I would love to see what creations you come up with. Stick that in the fridge for a minimum of four hours and you will reap the rewards. I hope you've enjoyed going through the process with me and more importantly, I hope you enjoy your cheesecake. So I've put the macros and the calories up on the screen for this recipe here. Obviously that will change depending on how creative you get with your own version of the recipe. But if you do have any questions or any suggestions on how to make things a little bit more exciting please do put them in the comments down below other than that go mad get creative and enjoy oh my lord 
So, hope you enjoyed the recipe and the video. If you did, once again, please do make sure you've given it a like and have subscribed below. If you are interested in more content like this, meal suggestions, recipes, etc., then please do let me know. Other than that, hope you enjoy your cheesecake, as I'm sure you will. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.